Hey guys, it's Mark with Music Greatness. In today's tutorial, we're going to be learning the main riff of Love New Antiti. It sounds just like this. Alright, that was the main riff. Let's head into the breakdown. We're in the key of F minor. And we've got four main chords to look at. Our first chord is a D flat major chord. And it looks just like this. That's octave D flats in the left hand, A flat, D flat, and F in the right hand. Our second main chord is a C major chord. That's octave C's in the left hand, G, C and E in the right hand. Our third main chord is an F minor chord. That's octave F's in the left hand, A flat, C and F in the right hand. Our fourth chord is going to look a little bit different. It's an A flat major chord. A flat and E flat in the left hand, A flat and C in the right hand. Okay, so just to recap, we have our D flat major chord, our C major, our F minor, our A flat major chord, which then leads us back into a D flat major chord, ready to start the loop all over again. Let's take a look at what's going on in a little bit more depth. We're going to start by playing it through really slowly without a count, and then again with a count. Without a count sounds just like this. And once more, this time with the count. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, one E and a, two E and a, one. All right, we're now gonna go bar by bar and break it down for you. Our first bar, we're going to be using our D flat major chord. Octave D flat's in the left hand, and we're going to start on our D flat with our middle finger. We're going to go one E and A. All right, from D flat to F, and then we're going to rock back down D flat, A flat. So we're going to think, Da 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 in that rhythm, holding that F for twice as long as the other notes. And as we get down to this A flat here, we're gonna play our D flat in the left hand again. And then we slide down for beat three. Same pattern, same rhythmic pattern, slightly different notes here. We've got our C major chord, octave C's in the left hand, starting on C up to E, C in the right hand comes at the same time as the C's in the left hand. Now all the way down to our low F's, and we're going to have our F minor chord in the right hand. Same rhythm again, starting on C in the middle. Remembering this left hand coming with our A flat. And then our final chord, you're going to have to shift this hand up really quickly to our A flat major position.
So slightly different there. We're going to go A flat, E flat, A flat, D flat. Hold that for twice as long. A flat. And then your C is going to come at the same time as the A flat and the E flat in the left hand. Then you loop it again. All right, that's all that the main riff has to offer. Now we're going to look at a second riff that you can use. It's very similar to the first one, but this one is specifically for the chorus. You don't have to learn this one, but it will help flesh the song out and give that, that little extra bit of depth. It looks just like this. Alright, let's break that down and see what's different. The only difference here is the left hand, so we're going to really focus on that. But I'll play the right hand too, so that you don't get confused. So, we're going to break it down nice and slowly. All we're going to be doing is playing our left hand on every beat. It really is that simple. We're just going to be playing D flats, C, F, and A flat. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Let's hear it really slowly hands together, just so I can show you how it all pieces together. Notice that the left hand plays before the right hand here. And again in the middle before it comes back down. Same again. And remember, instead of I'm going to get and then back to the beginning to start all over again. Okay, let's hear that whole thing one more time at full speed so that you can see exactly how everything fits together. And that's all there is to Love New Antiti. If you enjoyed this tutorial, feel free to check out our others on musicgreatness.com. I've been your tutor, Mark. Thank you.